Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about um, what you need to know about uni. I'm going to be talking about my experience at Plymouth University in particular. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, if I'm looking down, I've got a list of stuff that I'm going to read off so I know what I'm talking about. Um, so, these are the things that I think I would like to know. So I'm gonna first. <laughs> so I'm gonna be um, talking about some topics that may be useful for someone who is um, who's looking into going to Plymouth University in particular because I'm first year. So yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> So I'm first going to talk about accommodation. So I stayed at the Old Dairy in Plymouth. Um, this was a private accommodation and it had an ensuite. So it was slightly more on the pricier side. But to be honest, I really liked it there. It was close to everything that I needed to be close to. It was close to a co-op, which was literally right next door. Um, so I paid around 125 pounds a week um yeah it is a little bit pricey but i think it was worth it i really liked it there. <laughs> and disclaimer um these are all my opinions and my experiences so don't come for me please because i'm i don't want to get into it um so yeah um so before you get there um you have you would have a group chat so you can meet the people before you even get there so i met my flatmates in the group chat <laughs> before i moved in so i would know who was in my flat if that makes sense but for me um i really liked it there it was very convenient for me because it was right outside the business building so that was really good i really enjoyed that so yeah it was a bit pricey um, however, during this pandemic that we're in, they still, they didn't really help us students because we still had to pay rent even though we weren't there, which is fair enough because they're a private accommodation, I think, so that was probably why they still took our rent, whereas like the on-campus um, accommodations, they didn't have to, so that might be something that you want to bear in mind. Overall I really liked the old dairy and it was nice. <laughs> so next I'm gonna touch on freshers. This is obviously the first week that you get to uni where you go out clubbing and stuff. Um, I personally did buy a wristband. Um, for this wristband I got into three clubs. That was pretty much my freshers. I just went to the three clubs that it had in the wristbands which I thought was quite convenient to be honest but make sure you don't get scammed because some people did and bought like random ones so make sure that they're actually legit and they're actually a club and actually a proper thing so yeah um, and my flatmates before had some wristband so yeah just see what all your flatmates are doing because I mean, I'll get into it later, but they are going to be kind of like your first friends that you meet. So the next topic that I'm going to get into is the city. The city itself, Plymouth is alright on a nice day. The city is okay. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. It's alright. It has a mall which has a few shops that I like. It's obviously not the best but it's it's okay it's bearable on a nice day the barbican is really nice and it is really nice on a sunny day but isn't everywhere like you're by the sea all that jazz so yeah that was the touch on city it's not it's quite personal i think 
like if you're more of like a busy city person or you're more of a quiet person it's really up to you and it's really it is really personal preference but I think the city's okay <laughs> I'm so convincing you're welcome okay so the next topic I'm talking about is how you make friends and like the friend side of things so I was quite lucky I had my boyfriend there but I also obviously wanted to make friends so I found that you should have an introductory week and I found that I met some people through that because they basically force you to talk to each other yes it's awkward at first but isn't everything <sighs> But you do make friends and you can choose who your friends are. Don't feel like you have to be friends with someone because you don't because you get to choose who you want to be friends with. And if you think that they're not a very nice person or you don't get the right vibe from them, you don't have to be friends with them. Because I think you get to the age where you just choose your friends and I think that's the most important and you want to surround yourself with good people. You don't want to surround yourself with I don't know, someone who brings you down all the time or that someone who just makes you feel bad about yourself. So that is something that is quite important. Just remember that you get to choose your friends. So yeah, that's a thing. Um, another thing that I found that helped because of my course, I did quite a lot of group work. So I met people through group work. So it was basically forced upon if that makes sense so I was forced to work with people and during that time of group work I found people that I'm friends with and would like to be friends with outside of uni if that makes sense does that even make sense I don't even know um so yeah that was a big thing to be making friends and obviously freshers you do make friends but they're I don't think you'll be friends with them for very long and also obviously your flatmates are the first people that you meet and would go to freshers with so yeah that's another that's another thing where you can make friends with definitely your flatmates yeah anything else I want to touch on making friends it's obviously going to be awkward at first and it's going to be weird but you don't need a lot of friends I don't think to be happy and be with who you like I don't know this is so weird <laughs> um so yeah just and just be yourself because if they don't like you for you then that's their problem and you don't need you don't need people like that you don't need to change for people yeah the final thing I'm going to talk about is the campus itself, the university. Um, I really like the campus because everything's just really close. The university is right next to town, which is good because I'm not, a, I'm not a big walker. And if you know me personally, you know that I'm not a big walker. So everything was really close. So I really enjoyed that because you don't have to walk that far. Um, I obviously don't have a say in other subjects, but for me, the business building, it's okay. It is okay. It's, it's average. I don't really know what to say about the building because it's literally just a building that, that you have lessons in and stuff like that. Um, but it was really close to my accommodation, so I could literally leave five minutes before a lecture or a seminar or a tutorial. So it was really close and convenient for me. The Plymouth University have a 24-7 library, so you can use it 24 hours a day. Don't know why you would go at like 3am, but I kind of wanted to do that, but I didn't. But I might try it next year, that's going to be fun. Um, yeah, they have a 24-hour library on obviously term days, term times, term time, um, which is kind of helpful. So yeah, you can go in early or late, up to you. <sighs> yeah, I thought it was okay. Overall, my opinion is that Plymouth is a, you either hate it or love it, I think, but you could say that about anything. So yeah, I think it's really personal. But yeah, those are my tips and stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed it and it was helpful. Um, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and um, I'll see you in my next video. 
and I'll catch you in a bit. Bye.